What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Tommy Tellerico has returned to try to sell people in Chile on the video games live tour. How do you feel about that, Dexter? Yeah. Smash JT. Hey everybody, this is Tommy Tellerico from Video Games Live. And I am so privileged and honored and excited to let everyone know that finally Video Games Live will be returning to Chile to perform. That's right, we're going to be there at Gamer City in April. And I cannot wait to see everybody and feel the love from the Chilean audience. You guys have always been so amazing to us. And we can't wait and we hope to see you in April. Thank you so much. See you soon. When H Bomber Guys video completely exposed Tommy with the Roblox.oof video. Fantastic video, by the way. Completely exposed Tommy for the fraud that he is. I was hoping that there would be a response from Tommy that would be I don't know. Honest for once. <laughs> Probably because I was so in deep with him that I'm like, I, it hurts me, you know, to find out who Tommy really is, to to see all this come to light and to think I fell for that, you know, a part of me is being selfish because I'm like, I want Tommy to fix this so I don't look so bad. Just like uh, John uh, Gamester81 said, that our anger shouldn't be directed at Pat and Ian or other, you know, YouTubers that are angry. It should be directed at Tommy. But the problem is, Tommy's nowhere to be found. Or at least was nowhere to be found. He completely ditched social media. The same guy that was like on it multiple times a day. On threads, message boards, YouTube videos, you name it. Tommy was involved in everything. Until it went south. And he disappeared. And his father passed away, unfortunately. Which kind of worked in Tommy's favor as a way to just dip into the shadows and, and just leave the spotlight completely. But now he's back. Now he's back. And, and the first thing we see from him isn't a raw apology. It isn't a, hey, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. It's not a, an honest, like, approach to talking it's not talking about the intellivision amico at all it's not telling talking about intellivision at all it's you okay up there dexter it's kind of dangerous it's just him trying to sell tickets to a concert in chile which is kind of crazy but not surprising something i did find interesting too it looks like tommy's in his egyptian room at his house that I thought Tommy was in such financial dire straits that he had to auction off all his game systems and sell his house and and all this other personal stuff that I'm not going to get into. But looks like he still has that house. Looks like he still has the Egyptian stuff. Looks like everything is status quo for Tommy. Looks like nothing's changed except time has passed. And I know there's a lot of people out there that that want to just let go of this, to just move on from it. But no, no, screw that. Like, Tommy was a friend to me for a long time. Tommy was somebody who I thought I could trust. Someone who told me this console was on the launch pad, just needing the fuel to take off and reach for the star. No, they weren't even close. In reality, they were just trying to squeeze more and more money to mismanage it and then evaporate the corporation. Now we have Phil Adam that is supposedly still working on getting this console released. And I'm sorry, Phil. Bro, you told me in November that you would have more information before Thanksgiving. And now we are in February of 2023. That's going on four months from when we talked that you would have some sort of update. You have nothing. You haven't provided intel, information. You haven't messaged me, texted. You haven't provided a, a PR statement. Nothing. And I understand your mother passed away. I'm really sorry. Rest in peace. All that fun stuff that we always say when that happens. But, I mean, at, at the end of the day, this is a, a, a multi-million dollar corporation. 
that that just sucks funds out of people. And we're supposed to just feel bad because parents keep passing away for you guys. Like, I'm sorry. But at some point, you need to, like, answer for your business. What are you doing? What's happening? But anyways, back to Tommy. This is just a, a venting session of frustration that Tommy comes back. I've been waiting. I think we all have. For some sort of recognition of social media that Tommy is alive. <laughs> that, he, that he's not just like bought a private island with his money and just moved to that and completely d disappeared from reality. No, he's alive. He's out there. And then things went south. He disappeared and then came back and goes on. He probably thought this would fly under the radar, but he goes on a international... Uh, Spanish speaking Chilean Twitter account and it's all translated and it's all put out there for everyone to sell tickets for video games live and the tour there saying nothing about the game console couple things if I was Tommy I'd be pretty worried about something happening to me at one of these concerts after what he just did to people and then just flee the country there's a lot of really pissed off investors out there there are and then on top of that, we have a history where Tommy was arrested for trying to enter the United States with, what was it, $100,000 cash? And then tried to peg it on his band members and, and totally got caught. That all happened. This is real. And, and now we're in a situation where Tommy's back in Chile trying to sell tickets for a concert and move on with his life. But there's some unfinished business. This little thing called the Intellivision Amico that raised nearly $19 million? 18 point something? Million dollars raised. And then nothing. People don't forget, Tommy. You need to at least, you know, acknowledge the situation. Say you're sorry. Give the truth. If you know how to do that. Which H Bomber Guy proved you don't. But something along the lines of this was the intention. We tried it. It didn't work out like we thought it would. And, you know, God love him. He's trying. Phil Adam over there. We're trying to figure something out. Acknowledge it. 18 plus million dollars stolen from investors. Gone. And you have the audacity. To act like nothing happened. That's messed up, man. Just being honest. Thank you so much. See you soon.